Hi everybody. Today we're going to work on lesson 12-5 in our math book and it starts on page 692. Now the lesson is talking about how are you measuring things that are not straight. How can I measure something that's crooked and wiggly with something that is solid? So what it says is how can you measure an object that is not straight? Which tools can I use? Well, I can use paper clips, cubes, string, or more than one tool. Okay, so for something that's moving around, I might want to use a string. And I could just kind of move it along with it. See how I'm kind of just going right across, right around? And I see it here. I'm at the end of the snake. So when I straighten the string out, the snake is that long. Then... I can get the cubes and I can measure how long the string was. So I can use string and then I can use the cubes. So the snake is about five cubes long. I would never be able to figure that out by laying them on top, right? He only looks like he's like three or four. But when I use the string and I get to move it right along, it's like straightening that snake out when I make it straight. So it says, circle whether you need just cubes or string and cubes to measure each object. Then measure. Well, this one is not straight, is it? So I'm going to need both. So I'm going to take my string and I'm going to go to that corner and then I'm going to go to this corner. And I'm going to go up to that corner. And I'm going down to the, oh, this gets tricky. Down to that corner. And then I'm going to go up to that corner. And that's about where I stopped. So now that I put it all straight, now I can put the cubes on it. One, two, three, four. And my thumbs are the way, but four five cubes. So this red squiggly line is about, well for mine it was about five cubes long. Okay, the book says four cubes so I must have made mine a little too big there. All right, now for this, for the marker, it's already straight. So I don't have to use the string. I can just set the cubes down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that marker is just about six cubes long and I don't need to worry about the string. All right, looking at page 693, let's go ahead and do this one together again because you may not have string and cubes at your house so you can just watch as I do this. So because the scarf is crooked, I'm going to have to use my string. And again, I use what I found in my house. String or yarn may be a little bit easier. So I'm going to start here and go around and come around and come around. See how tricky this is? And all the way to the end. So now I leave my thumb there. I straighten this out. And this is about how long this, the scarf would be if it was straightened out. So now we put the cubes on them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we can fit about six cubes on that scarf it was, if it was straightened out. So we had to use the string and the cubes to find out that it's about six cubes long. Now the flute is already straight, so do we need string? No, we can just set the cubes down. One, two, three. It's about three cubes long. How about the flower? It's already straight, so we can just do the cubes. I forgot to circle the cubes, there we go. Right on the end, one, two. So that flower is two cubes long. Now the lizard, is squiggly, so we're going to have to use both. So I'm going to start here at the edge of the nose, and I'm going to curl down his body, and then I'm going to come around his tail. This does get tricky. And then around his tail to the end. 
So that's about how long he is if he was all straightened out. So I'm going to put the cubes down. One, two, three, four, five, and probably I think I could fit that other one on. Six cubes long. So the lizard, if he's all straightened out, is about six cubes long, but we need both the string and the cubes to figure it out. All right. So, it says Kate needs to hang these bracelets in order from shortest to longest. Notice they're all squiggly. How are we going to know? So, I'm going to have to use my string and cubes. So I start right here, come around this top one. Whee! And I'm going to end right about there. So I use my cubes. One, two, three, four. And it looks like well, about five cubes long for the first one. So this one's about five cubes. Then I use the string for this one. And I go all the way around and around and up and around. About that far. So now I have one, two, three, four, five. I have to get my other cubes. Six, seven, Eight. That one's about eight cubes long when you get it all straightened out. So, so far this one is longer than this one. And then we have this last one here, and it's going to start here. Oh, this one gets tricky. And around, and up, and stop. So about right here, we have one, two, three about four cubes long. So we had to use both the cubes and the string and which one was longest? The pink one. Then the little chain and then the very bottom one was the smallest. Alright, so now it is time for you to do your homework on page 12-5 and 12-6. I'm sorry, 12-5 uh, pages 695 and 696, and just do the best you can with the materials that you can find. Thank you, and have a great day.